regulation on the word organic? Yeah. So if you are right. e buying something because it's organic, I have bad news for you. It's probably, like, there's no government regulation on what that means. No, they can just so, slap it on there. They're not yeah, going to look into it. Point. It's absolutely, and she got... Same like natural. Natural doesn't fucking mean anything. Everything is literally natural. Yeah, I mean, you know, arguing, it's all chemicals. Yeah, so is everything. Water is a chemical, you dumbass. Yeah, like, you are made of chemicals. Everything is chemicals. That's the whole point, is that it's... Oh, hey, dude. He, uh, he was just doing the run, man. Why you gotta be so rude to that man? Because he's fit. Okay. But, like, that's the thing. Like, and so she got mad when I would, you know, show her that, you know, despite her belief, that organic doesn't necessarily mean better, right? Yeah. And she got pissy about it, and we're not friends anymore. To give you an idea of why that pisses me off, we were so close at one point that, uh, I literally donated sperm so her sister could have kids. Wow, that's that's fucking close. Yeah, like I was in a bet. I'll tell that story in a minute. Yeah, okay, a uh, put a pin in that and I'm gonna put a pin in uh, I have a sperm donation story as well, so pin in that as but, well. Uh, Two pins. She, uh, her mom was a real pain in her ass. So I wrote a poem for her mom. It was a uh, hickory dickory dock, your mom's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hickory dickory duck, your mom is a bitch. Uh, that one has more. I don't, yeah, literally they all look the same to me. Well, no, I'm looking at the ammo count. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know what... I'm confused about what you're trying to accomplish at this point. You see that wreak havoc bar in the corner? Uh, which corner? The Oh, yeah, corner. I see that. Oh, yeah, it's only like two-thirds full. You already killed everybody, though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, in the police station. I have to wreak more havoc in the... So you oh. actually have to destroy shit just to... Yeah, and then I liberate the police station. Okay, that's weird. I feel like if you have, like, it's completely controlled. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this else. This feels like it's less precise than the Far Cry 3 method of, uh. Well, usually I just over. have to open the fucking gate. That's Maybe it. destroy that flag? Let's paint it on. I'm, yeah, let's destroy the wall. Well, I, I'm trying to find something else to destroy. Uh, fuck. But, uh, like, usually it's not this ridiculously hard to find shit. Right. But, so, uh, the sperm donation story. Yes. Her sister wanted to have a kid. Couldn't be intimate with a man. Sure. Couldn't afford to go to a clinic for, uh, sperm. Couldn't yep. Couldn't afford to buy it. America. So, I, they asked me, hey, Andrew, would you be willing to donate sperm? I was like, yes, but I want a contract to be signed. Sure. Same yeah, that. that's it. That's definitely was a situation like that. You want to make sure you're all, all set legally that you're not. They're not going to be like, and now you have to pay for half the kids, sucker. Yeah. <laughs> so I, gotcha. I put in the contract that she would not sue me for child support. Certainly. But at the same time, I would not sue her for custody, whatsoever of that kid. Yeah. Two two way road with that one. Yeah. And so. Uh, do you know who Tiny Tim is? Yes. I, I, sunlight, in the moonlight. A huge I fan of him. I swear to God, I was shocked that he was a lot around children. He looks yeah. like Tim Burton's illegitimate father. No, no, he looks like he looks almost exactly like fucking Marilyn Manson. But he was supposed he w thought he looked charming, but no. he looked like fucking Marilyn Manson with a ukulele. He looked like Tim or er, Tim Burton, like late '80s Tim Burton. Sure. Yeah. Straight up looks like Tim Burton. Can I get some of this ammo? <coughs> Can I like it's just like crazy. pop some out and like stick it in my gun? Yeah. But uh, so we were listening to Tim or to Tiny Tim, right? The whole time before I was supposed to like go in the bathroom and make the donation. <laughs> make the donation. So, <laughs> nudge, nudge. We're uh, li like listening to Tim or Tiny Tim. And uh, they'd never heard it, so uh, they're on their way out. I go in the bathroom to spank one out. Yes, as you do. Yeah, that's how you get it. Pro tip if you want to make a sperm donation, you'll have to masturbate. Yes. Uh, so, 
How That's much more havoc can I wreak? There's rule, nothing to fucking destroy. Rule number one of donating sperm, whack it. Rule number two of donating sperm, jack it. Rule number three of donating sperm, Catch whack it a smack cup. it. Yeah, don't let it drip. So try and keep it away from the edges. Get it, get it right in the middle there. Get your aim on. There's nothing to fucking destroy. Except like, I guess the barrier that, here. That leg is the only thing I could think. Is there any way to destroy that wall? That wall? No. no, the one with the flag on it. No. Shit. Well, yeah, keep... what the fuck are you supposed to do? I don't know anything about this game other than people say it's amazing, and I'm like, okay, sure. I mean, it's so much fun, but I don't... Uh, am I supposed to... I'm... God, we can hear Cory snoring from here. You, you, you can hear it. that, I'm right? Gonna do something. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm gonna go do something. That's how it is at home. Like, we cannot handle him snoring. It goes through the, every wall in our house. I've only spent one night at Corey's place. Right? And that, that was enough. Yeah. It's oh, does this count as police area? It gets warm, because he doesn't do AC with a fucking scorched earth policy the way you do. Dude. He tries to keep it at, like, 78, 77. When, uh... There's a comedian talking about, uh... They, uh, only... Or they lived in Florida. Yeah. And his father would only turn the air on if it got to above 100 degrees. Oh, dear God. And they'd be laying in the, like, road. <laughs> or laying on the floor, like, 98, 99, needle just bouncing back and forth between the two. Yeah. Like, please let it be 100 today. <laughs> Fuck, that reminds me of, um, DJ Ravine, who's, like, an Australian DJ. He had these vlogs of uh, an Australian tour oh, he did. Oh, 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 oh! No. And there was a point where he did, um, there was a point where he's in Florida, right? And he's in northern Florida, so he's still in the state of Florida. And he wa he's, like, walking through, like, the backstage, and there's people hanging out. And there's one girl in, like, a woolen winter coat. And he's just like, hey, how's everybody doing? And she's like, I'm freezing, I'm from southern Florida. And it's like, yeah, that's a pretty great example of how of subjective it is. Because northern Florida compared to southern Florida is like four degrees difference. But to her, it was ice cold. Meanwhile, I'm coming from like, uh, fucking Washington State down to yeah. Georgia. I came during the winter, so there was like 70 degrees, and I was like, oh, so this is you, fine, it and now like it's a like... Washington summer when you got here. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Yeah, I was listening to, there's, um, Kixi Radio, it's like an AM, like, oldies radio station that still does, like, radio plays and stuff from Seattle. They stream it through an app, and I listen to it a lot when I feel homesick for Seattle. Uh-huh. And fucking, <laughs> I was listening to it, and they're like a few weeks ago and they were just like uh the weather today it's uh, gonna be a high of 50 and i'm like oh god please why can't i live there so still? we live uh in north carolina sometimes yeah and uh here's the thing i keep it cold right oh yeah it's it feels like a freezer in it's here 66. i'm so happy it's 66 oh it's beautiful this is a fucking compromise that i made with maddie really this is the compromise yeah I wanted it lower. <sighs> it's so beautiful. I'm still wearing shorts. I mean, it's a hoodie, but I don't know. I'm from Washington where, like, you're... It's generally not gonna go above 70. Maybe, like, 80 in the summers. Like, how much... Like, how much more havoc is there to leave? I seriously don't know how it's measuring it. I guess just... Like... Construction of things. I guess, yeah. There just, we go! Damn! Oh my god! That was a lot of nonsense bullshit I had to blow you had to my do. own people's cars. So, um, going away from weather talk of all things. Weather talk. Um, Welcome so, to weather talk. Um, this is NPR. This is NPR. Um, uh, right, I had a sperm donation quote unquote story, but uh, my brother is actually, he's going to school. And he's fine. Like, he... My brother is an insane person, I will say that, because he decided in, like, ninth or 10th grade, I'm gonna start learning guitar, because my dad plays guitar. He's a self-taught classical guitarist. And he's like, I'm gonna, like, work with my dad, and we're gonna... I'm gonna learn classical guitar. To him, learning classical guitar meant I'm gonna spend 8 to 10 hours daily learning guitar, and he did that every day, and still does, to the point where... By the time it was time to look at colleges, he fucking 
could have gone to Juilliard, but he was like, no, I don't like their academics. Want to see something cool? So instead he went to Cornish on a full ride scholarship. Or I believe hey, full ride. You're supposed to die when I hey, do you're this. supposed to do a thing. Oh, 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 he got hung up. Oh no. Oh, it's his arm. Let me down. Let me down, just cause man. Oh, whoops. Who did that? Did you um, do that? So, yeah, my brother is an insane person. And he's he's going to school for classical ah, guitar. Geez. And he's putting holes in me. He's amazingly talented. Like he he's fantastic at it. Damn it. But ah oh, fuck. But um to make extra like spending money <laughs> during college, he donated sperm. <laughs> because while there is a history of depression in my family, it's not documented because none of us have decided and or have been able to afford uh, therapy. So it's not been <laughs> diagnosed. We're clearly all depressed, but none of us want to admit it. <laughs> but um yeah, so he donated sperm, which means that I do, and he has had this confirmed. Like, he doesn't want to have contact with the kids, but he he has asked that he be told when uh, there has been a conception made. And he has at least one kid in New York. So I have a niece or nephew in New York that I'm never going to meet <laughs> I because of this. The, and he uh, makes good money doing this shit, too. But I wanted it to be you know, on the contract. She didn't have the kid, by the way. Oh, that's... She didn't conceive. But, ah, um, darn. Or I haven't been told if she did. Well, yeah. But I, I, I made the conception or concession that if, uh, if the child is, you know, born, mm -hmm. I don't mind them contacting me when they're 18. Yeah. I do not want contact before then. Uh, but I will, you know, I understand because you want to know your history. You want to know where you came from. Yeah, absolutely. For medical purposes. Like, you, you kind of want to know medically who you fucking are. Yeah, that's so definitely I, something I, that's I important. Them, I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, there was actually, I think there was a movie about that where there was a guy who, back in his early years, uh, donated a lot of sperm. And then, basically... He find, he got a list of all the people that he conceived, and then he starts going around and actually like seeing who they've become. And like one of them is like a sports star, and one of them is like, like j a bunch of them are just random people. But it's like this whole list of people. Um, I don't know. I've always been curious about that myself because there was a Will Smith and Whoopi Goldberg movie where uh, Whoopi Goldberg gotten uh, artificially inseminated, had a daughter. Really? Yeah, and her daughter's best friend is Will Smith. Okay. So, I was gonna say, was he the artificial insemination? No, uh, he's her best friend. Right. And so to, you can't get the records because only the mother can get the records. Right? Okay. And so, uh, or the father. Right. And so he, uh, in order to sneakily get the records for the daughter, she uh, has him dress up for going as under the guise of wanting to donate semen. Right. And he's like a 16, 17 year old kid. Right. Uh, lying about his age. Mm -hmm. And he's like, uh, do you guys provide uh, inspirational material? <laughs> <laughs> they show him the collection of pornography and he's and they hand him a little cup and say, we need you to fill this up. Fill? Yeah, this is like cup like that. Fucking right, thing. like a specimen cup. Yeah, and he go, he's looking at like, like a freaking t t a tumbler you'd have like a whiskey in. Yeah, he's looking at it like how am I going to fill this up? <laughs> then, uh, during the big climatic or climatic uh, portion of that scene where she's escaping, uh, he sticks his head out the window door and says, can y'all bring me another cup? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, boy, you inspired. Uh, um, from what I understand, uh, nowadays it's more like an on-demand porn service that they use. Oh, no, um, a handful of them still use, uh, magazine. Okay, at least with the one, I mean, going off of what my brother said, like, he, he, it'll just be like an on-demand, like, you know, J-O-I, uh, anal, you know, oh, well, whatever. J-O-I. What's the fucking point? 
I think they'd be good if the act the actresses were like better actors, but they're always so awkward. I'm 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 lost because they clearly just think it's at the be at the best. They usually think it's really s just kind of silly, and they really don't like. 